This is a vintage pack of Pokemon cards, and this is me. Hi. For the next 24 hours, I will be opening up Pokemon cards, and if we can make it through the entire day, we will open up this jungle pack. But if I can't make it through the day without falling asleep, I will give away what we pull out of it. All right, it's 845, so let's start with this first Elite Trainer Box of Crown Zenith, which you can have a chance to win. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and leave a comment down below. Oh yeah, and I should probably tell you the rules. Every hour, I will have to open at least three packs until we get to the single jungle pack at the end. And I have some really cool packs to get to today. And that sounds hard enough, so that's actually all the rules that we have for this. Besides, if I fall asleep, obviously, then you get all the cards out of the jungle pack. Look at this beautiful Caldeo that you could win. So with the opening at hour zero, I made myself a coffee because I really needed to get myself started. I mean, and that's a pretty cool cup too. Look at that turtle. I love that turtle. I spent the next little bit hanging out on the couch with my wife because I needed to scroll through TikTok and do mindless things. And here we go, hour one is upon us. So I split the giveaway part of the opening into two parts so that we could do close to that three per hour. But as you can see, we didn't get some good pulls to start, but we did get a nice double banger right there. Look at my surprise face. Got a Ponyard, a Seal, a Raikou. At this point, like, that's just crazy. That's so nice. What the? At this point, we get a couple of other nice pulls, and I'm really just jealous. All right, not fair. I'm jealous. I'm saying, like, then Aaron and I actually did go to breakfast, so we went to a diner that we go to all the time, and I decided to open up some cards there because, you know what? Why not? We actually did get looked at by the table next to us because we are opening up Pokemon cards in a diner, and it was actually their birthday, which is pretty cool. I wanted to wish them a happy birthday from a really famous YouTube. YouTuber, but uh, it didn't seem right. We got a nice Arceus from Brilliant Stars, but let's move in the Silver Tempest. We did get a build and battle box, so it did come with a deck as well. It was a Rapidash deck, which is cool, and we got a nice double banger right there. Next, I went over and played some basketball because I work out two or three times a week, and I usually choose one weekend day to go. And look, you guys have to stop roasting me in the comments. I'm good at basketball. Look at that shot. Oh my goodness. And here we go. I'm about to bust the move. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't guard me. Yeah, you guys saw that in the beginning of the video, but they cannot guard me. Don't ever let anyone tell you that a PokeTuber can't ball. Look at that pass. What a dime and a swish. Now, here we go. I had to break out the Kobe Bryant right here. Look at this step back. Uh, swish. On this next move, you already know that I was going to be in my curry mode. Curry sets, fires, three pointer. Bang! Yeah, I'm playing. I'm doing a YouTube video, a 24 hour challenge, so I gotta open cards within the hour. <laughs> We got a nice full art Haunt Crow V. And nothing in the second pack, but we did get a nice Kyogre V to end in. I was so sweaty when I was doing this. Next, we move into some Champion's Path, which is really cool because we wanted to hunt for some Charizards. We got a nice Marnie right there, a little holographic, a Gardevoir V, which is pretty cool, a little impressed, a Weedle, and a Machamp. I also opened up four packs without recording, so that's a bummer. I then went and showered, and my wife helped me with a thumbnail, so we have to thank her for that. Let her know in the comments. And subscribe to her channel in the description as well. All right, so I realized that I actually didn't buy enough product today, so we're going to go to Gotham city and pick up some more all right so while we were here mike decided to open up a bunch of packs for himself so we're going to open them up and show you what we get yeah you know how good this card is the siglu yeah it's probably really good oh nice oh uh, it's sick you, bro, which one is your favorite uh bird i would have to say oh moltres was my favorite for for a very long time so i'm gonna go with that what about what's yours I like Zapdos. Zapdos? Yeah. Yeah, Instant Squad. Double Turtwig, yeah, nice. Double Turtwig, look at that. Nothing there. I think I'm winning because I got a Turtwig. I think you are. Do you ever get a Gengar or the Mew from the set? I've gotten the Mew V, but not the V Max. Which actually, I like the V's art more. Ooh, nice, Teleon. All right, a hollow. So far, so better than what I got. <laughs> yeah, you're stinking it up. I rizzed up those boxes <laughs> for you. I, just, I can't rizz up these packs. All right, you got to choose then. I want this one. All right, cool. All right, you're gonna I'm pull, gonna get an alt art. You're gonna pull the alt art <laughs> uh, Shadow Rare, yeah. Oh, just a hollow. Hey, that's the first card we pulled together. That is the first card that yeah. we pulled together. That's actually right. <laughs> look, at, look at all this commons I got. Oh, I yeah. I, I'm the win You're I'm actually the, the winner. true winner right I'm here. I'm the true winner right here. For the seventh hour of this challenge, Aaron and I decided to get pizza because next door is a really good place and they have some awesome specialty slices. And I opened up a couple of packs. So we had a sword and shield base and then I believe it was a darkness ablaze. And we didn't really get much there. And then I got home. I decided to open up some more packs because we got into the eighth hour, which time is actually like flying by at this point. I mean, it's actually like crazy. As you can see, we actually did go on a bit of a cold streak and I thought Kona would bring us some good luck, but apparently not. So I had to ask her what was going on. Kona, what the heck do we got going on? Shut up! Next, I was going to my friend Nate and John's apartment, so I got gas, and then we played a lot 
of video games. We started off and we played some Mario Party, which is really cool. And of course, you know, your boy Starman had to come out victorious. Look at Waluigi dancing, stunting on him. And then I, we actually decided to play some 2K2 since we're all into basketball. Now, hours 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 were all at Nate's house. And we started off with continuing our cold streak it was fine but for whatever reason it made the next five hours feel very very long since we had nothing to celebrate but we did get a nice double banger right here so that's our third second one i don't even remember i'm not even gonna look back there's another one so that might be our third and we didn't really do too much more past that but i had a lot of fun it was really cool to see them all for hour 15 i did not have dinner yet so me and bg mark 33 decided to go to applebee's for some half off appetizers and to open up some cards which was a lot of fun until it got a little awkward because out of nowhere go Goku shows up. 1224. Um, we have eight hours left and I'm definitely feeling tired. I actually just went and got an energy drink and I feel like this is going to be like the hardest eight hours of this entire challenge. Not looking forward to it, but let's uh, open up some champions path. You already know we're still looking for that Charizard, which we have actually shown off both the Charizards that come in this set, but we got a nice full art right there. Uh, but that was like way in the past. It's been a long time. So at this point, I started watching the wrestling event, which was Elimination Chamber, and it was actually a really good pay-per-view or a PLE, whatever they want to call it. We got a nice Vika Volt right there. Then I decided to work on my thumbnail, open up some more packs of course we got a pearl line of lux ray and uh you know what the tiredness was really setting in we got a nice dust call right there we got some silver tempest the last packs were from crown zenith but we got a nice omnistar right there after i finished up the bulk of the thumbnail i decided to start editing and let's look at these new tins that they have for crown zenith which is really cool it comes with four packs we got a nice hoopa v galarian gallery right there and we have pulled that one before but we have not opened up these tins yet during hour 20 we broke out our first energy drink <laughs> up our next two crown zenith tins and i did not get the charizard one they actually were sold out of that but when you put all those art pieces together it makes for a bigger picture and i could be wrong i might have misheard them but there should be six so i did only have four and they said that i was only missing charizard so that would make sense but we got this really nice meal let's go nice so glad I got that. At hour 21, I started to feel really tired. It was really settling in, but we got some Silver Tempest to get into because, you know, we're going to push on an Alolan Vulpix V, which is really nice, an Archen and Armaldo. And I think we were pretty slow right here. Hour 22, I spent a lot of time hanging out with my cats, but I did have the lights off because my wife was asleep, so I didn't get any footage of it. But I did, you know, really start the struggle there. This is really, really tough. 7 a.m. We're almost there. You can really start to hear the defeating this in my voice, but we had to power through. We only had a couple of packs left. I couldn't even get the packs open, right? We got a Chestnut V right there, a Gumshook, a Lycanroc, and I did do a fourth pack. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I wanted to take you along opening this because this pack is really special to me. It is the first vintage pack that I actually bought when getting back into collecting and making YouTube videos three years ago. And as I've been trying to make better and more creative content, I figured why not like use this as a way to open this up with you all. So let's get this cracking. Just a $200 pack down the drain. When I bought this, it was sold to me as a sealed unweighed pack. So we can do a card trick on this. We have opened one pack of this before and let's get started. Again, thank you so much for being here. It really means so much. That Pikachu is insane. A Venonet. Gotta make sure there's focus and a Pokeball. An Eevee, which is a beautiful card. A Bellsprout. Meowth, I think there's one more. And the rare is an Electrode, which is a non holo but I believe that there's an error one of these Electrodes, and I don't remember if this one's it. But what a payoff. Oh my goodness. I appreciate you being here. Again, make sure to join that giveaway. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed. See you next time.